In this video, you're going to learn how to draw a scale diagram to find a missing angle or a missing side in a triangle. In example one, we're told that triangle ABC has an angle A of 42 degrees, a side B of 22 meters, and a side C of 17 meters. We're asked to use a scale diagram to find the length of side A, that's the little lowercase a there, to the nearest tenth of a meter. So when we use a scale diagram, that means that we're going to have to draw it out. And I don't have 22 meters of paper lying around, so I have to figure out a scale that's going to help me sketch this triangle. So I'm going to have to try a few numbers here. I need a scale that's going to turn uh, one meter into something more convenient on my page. So one meter in that 22 meters what if I was to draw that instead of one full meter, just as one centimeter on my page? Does that work? No, that's a little too big. I don't have 22 centimeters of room, so one meter to one centimeter, not quite the right scale. But how about if I did this one? How about instead of drawing at one meter, I turn that into half a centimeter on my page. Does that work? I think so. I think that'll work, because that way, when I go to draw the side that's 22 meters, it's going to end up being 11 centimeters, and I have enough room for that on my page. Let's go through that math quickly. So I'm going from one meter into uh, hat one for one meter I want that to be equal to half a centimeter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to divide that number by two and change the units to centimeters so 22 meters is the same as 11 centimeters and 17 meters if I do the same thing turns into eight and a half centimeters I've got plenty of room for that on my page So now what we have to do is we actually have to do the sketch. So where do we start? Well, I would start with how our triangle is going to be labeled so that we know where to draw each side. When we're given an angle, I always like to put that angle down here on the flat side uh, because it makes the drawing just a whole lot easier. So if we're given angle A, let's put that in the lower left, and then we'll just count around the triangle A, B, C. So those are our angles, which means the lowercase b would be the one across from angle b, lowercase c would be the one across from uh, the angle c, and then here's lowercase a, that side we're trying to find. And now let's get to the sketch. So the place I'm going to start is actually by drawing side b, because it's going to be very helpful for measuring the angle to have that flat side. So I'm putting the ruler to my page, which you can't see, but uh, here is the zero centimeter mark on my ruler, and I'm going to measure angle B, out, or sorry, side B to be 11 centimeters. There it is. So that side length B equals 11 centimeters. Now that I've got that side, it's going to be a lot easier to do angle A. So uh, angle A, I'm going to need my protractor for. So again, I'm going to put that protractor uh, right on the far left side of side B. It's on my page there, and I'm going to measure up 42 degrees on my protractor. So that's about right there. That's the angle, 42 degrees. So this side that goes from A up from this side is side length C, which we're told was 17 meters or 8.5 centimeters on my page. So now my ruler, I'm going to measure out 8.5 centimeters, but it has to go through that angle that I just made a mark for. So 8.5 centimeters. Just like that. So that's side C equals, well, this was 
8.5 centimeters. And so now that I have my angle done and my two sides, I'm ready to find that missing side. I just have to connect those here. There we go. And so this is my side length A across from angle A. And I just have to go ahead and measure that side. That's 7.5 centimeters. But that's my measurement on the page. This is my scale diagram. Because I'm given a question where my units are meters, I need to answer with my length in meters. Find the length of A to the nearest tenth of a meter. So now I have to go and convert my measurement of 7.5 centimeters back into meters. So to make my scale diagram, I divided by a convenient number, which I decided to divide by 2, and then change the units into centimeters. So now to go back, I'm going to have to multiply that by 2. So 7.5 times 2 is 15, and change my units into meters. So the nearest tenth of a meter, I would call that 15.0 meters or A equals 15.0 meters. And that's how I find the side length with scale diagram.